Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, we're back working on the deadbolt. This week, we've got an Enjora rock crawling frame. Give us a minute, we'll turn the camera around and we'll show you what we're building. So this week, we went back to Enjora, our favorite place to shop, and we got this rock crawler buggy style body to put together. It's all made out of carbon fiber. Hopefully you can see it there. And then the rest here, the top and the, the battery tray and the, for the, the receiver, or the ECU, sorry. And then there's a little front plate with a drawer on it. They're all made out of aluminum. Comes with the bars here to go in between. Some uh, new hardware to go for it. Sorry, I'm trying to get one picked up here. Nice new hardware. Comes with some uh, little nuts. I'm gonna assume those are for the, sorry, see if I can get up there, little nuts there. Those are for your shock placement, um, depending on where you're gonna put the shocks, that kind of thing. I'm hoping we're just gonna use some, a couple of these bars where they line up. And then it comes with a cup, some little brass spacers. So that way you can uh, adjust your shocks out if you don't already have spacers. Uh, we already have a set, so not a big deal. So give us a few minutes, we'll get the camera set up, and we'll show you how to start putting this thing together. So what you're gonna need to do, grab one of your sides, obviously. And if you look, uh, one side's got kind of like a hump out here. You'll see it's got like the silver edge. That's the outside. And then on the inside, it's got the holes. You'll see the bigger holes here along the body. Try and get you in the light here. And that is where these pipes are gonna go. And you're just gonna be able to stick one in, pretty much clips in, it's kind of recessed a little bit. And you'll be able to take one of the new uh, screws and it is, I believe, uh, give me a second here. It's a 1.5 is what you're gonna need to be able to put this together. So give us a second, we'll get the bars put on. We'll bring you back for the next step. So there we go, we got that part all done. They're all in there nice and tight. You got three across the top and kind of three across the middle there. Then the next thing you're gonna have to do, obviously I'm pretty sure it looks like it's gonna be a little finicky, sorry. This is uh, your your battery. There's two little spots here at the back. You can just kind of clip her in there like that. And it's gonna sit on top of the, one of those pegs. And then you're gonna have to sandwich the other side in, of course. And then up front here, you've got for your ECU, you've got another little tray that snaps in. It's gonna, sorry, I try to get you in the light here so you can see. But they're just gonna go like that. And then as well, you've got this roof piece that's gonna to wanna to go in, in between those two bars there. And then, there's this little piece here up front. Little piece of bracing. Sorry, working with my wrong hand here. There we go. So it is gonna be a little bit finicky, I think, to try and get all those pieces to line up properly. Um, we may leave this piece out for a minute, or we may even get our ECU in first. I'm not 100% sure. So give us a couple minutes. We'll uh, get this thing put together, and we'll proceed on. Just wanted to stop the video for a minute and say, hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button because remember, at 500 subscribers, we're giving away a C24. And at 1,000 subscribers, we're giving away a C54. So share this video to your friends. Let's start climbing. All right, so there we go. We've got it all put together. Was a little finicky, making sure everything lined up and kind of squeezing the other side on. But as you can see, it, it turned out pretty darn good. Uh, here's the, the size comparison for the difference uh, from the old one to the new one. I mean, this one literally fits right inside. So it's going to really help with like, you know, articulation, all that kind of stuff. Um, give us a little bit more room. Um, so I guess the next thing we're going to do here, we'll get this thing taken apart. Get shocks and everything off. Get the, the center carriage and everything taken out. And uh, we'll start putting it into this one. So give me a minute. We'll be right back with this thing torn down. So there we have it. Everything's yanked apart off the uh, frame. We got the servo here. We will have to take this off the old plastic one. We'll just run a X-Acto knife around. It's just two double-sided tape, so not a big deal. We got this off. Shocks off, we just left everything attached. And this here, you'll be able to see. Sorry, I'll get my, try and get my hand out of the way. You'll be able to see, they've got the, uh, try and get in the light here, there we go. It's got the holes here. 
and then it's got the holes here to be able to hook up your uh, your your link bars. So we'll get everything put in, and we'll see how this thing looks. All right, so here we go. We've got it all done. We did do a few different things here. We did end up moving the battery to the front and the ECU to the back. Um, unfortunately, with, with our ECU there, with our on and off switch, um, we wrote it put it up front. There's just nowhere to get at it. So unfortunately, we, we swapped it around that way. You can see we still got some wires to kind of ring, run around. Not exactly sure how we're going to run things yet. We just got our shocks set up this way. There's a ton of different places that we can use. So you can see all the holes going through there. Same thing in the front. Um, so we'll do some play with that. Do a little bit of other setup and see what we like best. Um, but for now, this works really well. We got lots of great flex coming from it. Um, really helps set the, the uh, shocks in a little bit better. So it's going to give us a lot better steering angle than we had before. Um, same thing here at the back. You can see lots of great little flex there to it. So that should really crawl really nice. So give us a minute. We'll get a little thing set up here on the table. It's just, I don't know, it's about minus 21, I think, 22 outside right now. So we're definitely going to play inside today. Soon spring will be here. We'll be able to head back outside of that track. But uh, give us a minute. We'll get something set up inside here. We'll see how this thing crawls now. So here we go. Just got a little rock pile set up on the floor down here. See how this thing makes out. You should definitely get some uh, rock climbing tires. These are more of like a, red, a mud tire. We'll have to get something maybe more with pins on it, that kind of thing. But she, uh, she seems to make it over this no problem whatsoever. We'll turn it around, see if maybe it can make it back around. having a challenge here trying to get up this there we go said i think with a, a different set of tires may definitely help that's for sure um we may even have to go ahead and uh think with one of our next videos we're going to go ahead and we're going to try with uh hard hard foam medium foam and then no foam in the tires um see what that will do but needless to say, she seems to climb pretty good. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know if she's going to get up over that or not. Might just be a little too tall for it. Give her another go here. And over on its back. Yeah, it might just be too much for it. We are going to play with our, our uh, spring setup. That kind of stuff. Just to uh, see if that helps out a little bit as well. We'll let you know what kind of uh, progress we make with that. Uh, she does not want to make it up there with those tires, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, as usual, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button down below. It helps us out a ton. If you have any comments on what you think we should do to this vehicle again, Drop them down there in the comments. If you have any suggestions about shock locations, things like that, let us know. And please hit that thumbs up button because it helps us a ton. And it gets a whole bunch of other people to watch our videos. So thanks a lot and we'll see you again soon. And away we go.